Hey guys, it's Bakusagi, and we're back for more Earthbound. On the last episode, we succeeded in our mission to get... the Sword of Kings for Pooh. It is very awesome. And we also uh, got through the base at Stonehenge. We defeated Starman Deluxe, released all of its prisoners. Most importantly, we released Apple Kid, who let us know that the Shyness book... He left that back in one night, so we went and got that, and read it to the Tendas, and now they're not shiny anymore, so now we can go explore this place down under the village. Alright, let's go. Now, this dungeon isn't that long, but it can be kind of confusing, to be honest. There's, like, a lot of different paths to take, and, yeah. So I'm just gonna, uh, go the best I can, I guess. <laughs> oh shit, what do we got? I am really surprised that didn't red swirl me, but anyway, these assholes. This is another one of these guys that explodes in your face when you kill it. But unfortunately, uh, you can avoid them, but they carry another rare drop. Um, of course, like the Sword of Kings, it's a 1 in 128 chance of doing so. Uh, what they carry is the broken antenna. And Jeff can fix that to create the Gaia Beam, his ultimate weapon. Uh, it's honestly, it's a bit easier to get than the Sword of Kings because after you beat the boss here, you can come back and then they'll all run away from you and then you can just get surprise opening attacks on them. So yeah, that's pretty cool. But other than that, they're, well, they use Fire Beta a lot and so with, you pretty much know what damage that does in that game. So they're pretty dangerous. So are these guys too. They can use Flash Beta, which as you know has a chance of paralyzing or killing you. And they also use Thunder Gamma. So if you find yourself teamed up with these two, like I happen to be right now, don't hesitate to use PSI. Now as I mentioned with the uh, fucking Atomic Power Robots, uh, save any exploding enemies for last. Defeat them last, and then any damage you take from their explosions will, um... <laughs> well, it'll be minimized. Holy shit, that guy got Paula twice. Fucking sweet. Pretty much destroyed him. Oh. Okay, apparently this guy has a psychic shield. Fortunately, not a psychic power shield, otherwise Pooh would have been dead. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, if you get lucky and uh, find these things like... Like, if you find the broken antenna early on, then... Whoa. Then uh, that's a good thing, but honestly, I don't usually look for it because, well... <laughs> I don't know, it, I just never really bother. Uh, one time I did get lucky and fight it on my second attempt. But, yeah. I'm gonna cut this real quick. Paula took quite a lot of damage in that fight, so I'm gonna life her up real quick. Oh shit, that's probably gonna need to. Hey, Rock! The underground talking rock seems to want to talk a lot more than I do. Well, dang, which one of these rocks is it? Anyway, I was saying before, one time I did get lucky and found the broken antenna on like my second uh, uncontrollable sphere, but I <laughs> honestly I wouldn't get your hopes up too quick. I don't know, considering I found the uh, Sword of Kings in less than 10 minutes, uh, it's possible and oh my god is that a foppy? Well, I'm not really going to find out since we got an uh, uh, instant win on it. But yeah, they're, uh... Hey, it's a hole. Let's drop in the hole. Oh, piss. Yeah, that's what I meant by, uh, it being kind of amazed. Like, there are holes everywhere, and you don't know, like, where they'll, what, where they'll drop you at, and it could be in a place that you've already been, so you have to do a bunch of backtracking, and it's really annoying, and yeah. Oh boy. Death. Death doesn't taste good. Hooray. Yeah, I'm just gonna cut back to that upper section, so give me a second. Alright. Oh, fucking keyboard, I didn't mean to do that. <sighs> okay, so. I'm gonna make a mental note to not drop down that hill, and oh my god, there are foppies everywhere. Not quite, these are fobbies with a B. 
and they are just the same as their little friends. They... <laughs> They're not powerful at all. They just just smash them, bash them, and just have fun. They're worth quite a bit of experience, so if you want to use them to level grind, that's a pretty good idea. <laughs> not hard to kill at all, and they're still so cute. I love Fobbies. Um, let me see. Not dropping down that hole this time. Going back this way, and <laughs> another Fobby. They're so cute, I love them. They look beautiful eyes, and they look like... These don't look so much like tomatoes, but I guess oranges. <laughs> I don't know. Someone really ought to start an adopt a Fabi website. I would sign up in a heartbeat. So yeah. Uh... <laughs> wow. You're more likely to find the uh, spheres and spirits and all that stuff in the uh, lower levels of this place. Not so much the uh, upper levels. I think that's exclusively Fobbies up there. And I'm going to use the IQ capsule on Jeff. Because more IQ for him is always fantastic. What do we have up here? Fobbies! Yay! That Fobby used the HP sucker. I had no idea they could do that. It drained like 50 PP from... Well, it drained like 50 HP from Pooh, which was really fucking surprising. I, I, I seriously, I legit had no idea that they could do that. You learn something new every day. And just more and more flabbies. I think I'm pretty sure, yes, there is an item here. Diadem of Kings. This is another one of Pooh's equips. It's like the equivalent of like the... Oh, don't give it to Jeff. That was really stupid. Give that to Pooh. And I'm gonna equip that. Sweet. Yeah, that's like his equivalent of baseball caps and whatnot. Because I know a diadem is like a sort of crown, I guess, which is appropriate since he's a prince. And all of his items are like, you know, blank of kings. I, I guess it's not really rocket science to figure out, but whatevs. I'm gonna beat up in these fobbies. I don't know why I'm not cutting this. I kind of should. <laughs> Because this dungeon is fairly long, as I mentioned. Well, not really that long, but I don't know. It's the amount of backtracking you have to do, and then if you want to get all the items, I guess. Um, oh, yay, we level up. Oh, yeah. Just gonna head back through that other rope. Dang, I hate these guys. That guy got poo a lot. I thought he was gonna freaking die. God damn. Alright. Go back up here we go. Back around this way, I guess. We. Yeah, the only thing about Fobbies is when you get a lot of them on the screen, it tends to lag quite a bit. Yeah, like I said, ton of lag. <laughs> More cutting. You would think that as much as I encounter those fobbies, I'd be really fucking annoyed at them because they appear so much, but uh, not really. They don't they don't really bother me to be honest. It's just I don't know, it, it's it's an easy fight, it's really quick, really simple, really cute. And yeah, yeah, they don't bother me. I like these guys. Maybe a little love. Oh so, yeah, it you just I don't know. Once you find the right path to go on, it's pretty linear, I guess. Um, what we got here? Luck capsule. There is another item around here that you want to get that's pretty awesome, actually. Uh. And what that item is, is a rabbit's foot. It's, uh... It's one of those, you know, uh, quote unquote other equips and it raises your speed like a motherfucker. That is a very good thing to give to Jeff because with items, <laughs> thanks for talking to me, with um, a lot of the enemies in this later part of the game have power shields and psychic shields up so if his speed is high he can use the neutralizer early on and get rid of it. Uh, at least I'm relatively certain that it's in this dungeon. I 
Oh, another rock candy. Fucking sweet, yo. Can never have too many of those. And here we have a new enemy. Yay! A hyper spinning robo, which looks pretty cool in my opinion. I mean, it's pink. I like pink. I like this background. But really, he's nothing to worry about. He's fairly weak. He's got a beam attack, I guess. I don't know. He's just an upgrade of the other spinning robos and whatever that you've seen. It's just your standard upgrade. Nothing to worry about. I mean, his beam attack kind of hurts a little bit, but whatever. It's neglig negligible damage at this point in the game. Because it kind of misses a lot, too. They do have a, a very small chance of leaving behind an item that you can sell for uh, quite a bit of money. And I think it's like around $2,000, and holy shit, Paul needs a life up really bad. Ooh, Shield Omega. That puts a psychic power shield up on all of your people. Uh, life Paul up real quick. Yay. Um, I think we're supposed to go up... Well, I don't know. Let me check and see what's up here. A uh, shit ton of fobbies. <laughs> we. There we go. Let's see what this is. A couple life noodles, and I want to see what's down here. Oh, a magic butterfly and a rock. This is the Earth's belly button. <laughs> That's funny. Yay, magic butterfly. Relaxing. Uh, let's see, what is this? Luxury jerky that covers quite a bit of HP if I remember right. I mean, like I said, I don't really carry that much food around to be honest, but what devs? You can if you want, that's your call. I personally think uh, PP recovering food is much better than HP, and I'm pretty sure this was the path that we were on before. I don't want to fight those floppies. It looks like I'm gonna anyway. You're gaining a lot of fucking levels in this place. <laughs> and just one single solitary little floppy. Blah 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 blah. Yay, they're so cute. I like fighting them. Okay, what do we got? Oh shit, it's a shining spot. And what the? Dang. Alright, what do we got here? Rabbit's foot! Fuck yeah, this is awesome. So I'm gonna give that to Jeff. And I believe that goes on his... Yes, body. And... Hmm. But anyway... Let's look at his speed there. Fuck yeah. You want to give that to him because the quicker he can use his special items, the better. Anyway. You finally got here. This is the seventh Your Sanctuary location, but it's mine now. Take it from me if you dare. So, here we have uh, the Electro Spectre. He, he's honestly really, really easy. Um... He does have a psychic power shield up at first, so you don't want to use PSI on him, but honestly, you don't really need it, because he's... He only has one attack, that's an electrical shock attack. And he's weird because he fiddles with a lot of Jeff's items, like he'll use a uh, neutralizer and uh, HP sucker and all kinds of things like that. <laughs> it's very likely that he'll like kill himself with his uh, lightning. So, now that we've gotten rid of his shield, we can unleash PSI on him. Um, not sure which is the best to use him. I'll show off Fire Gamma right here. But yeah. It's not a hard... Ooh, shit. Jeff needs life up now. Yeah, it's not a hard fight at all, just... <laughs> okay, so Fire doesn't do all that much to him. This really easy boss, which it... Yeah, I figured I should mention occasionally Ness's rocket attack doesn't work. I don't know why, it just... I don't know, just sometimes it fails. So, fire was, uh, 
a complete failure, so we're gonna try Freeze on him instead, and who you use Star Storm. So yeah, it's, it's just a really easy fight. It's nothing to worry about. It's, I mean, I guess you just... Oh, shit. I say that and then Jeff dies. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Nuss Hud. Yes. Use a couple life noodles. Get him back. I didn't see how much damage Freeze did. Um. Hmm. Oh, just attack. But yeah. See, ironically, I say he's not that hard, and then he goes and kills Jeff. I mean, I guess it, I should have been keeping a, keeping a watch on his HP, but whatever, he's back now, and we're good to go. Use Starstorm again, because it's fucking amazing. Oh, shit, Paula's... <laughs> wow, she's completely out of PP. Ugh, and it doesn't work again. Oh, damn. Well, whatever. He's dead anyway, so yay, rejoice, celebrate. Not a hard fight at all. It's kind of a relief after that fucking Stonehenge dungeon. Yay. Massive level ups for everyone. Now, if you want to, um... If you want to look for the broken antenna for Jeff, uh... Well, I would suggest healing up the Sanctuary f first, but... But yeah, all of the enemies will run away from you, and you'll be totally good to go. So yeah. I'm just gonna drop down this hallway and hey, what do we got here? It's weird, the walls are kind of glowing. This is Lumine Hall. Or Lumine Hall. I'm Ness. It's been a long road getting here. Soon I'll be... Soon I'll be... Soon... I'll be... What will happen to us? What's happening? My thoughts... are being written out on the wall. Or are they? Ness saw a vision of his father holding him. Ness's soundstone recorded the melody of Lumine Hall. Give the soundstone a listen. We only have one melody left to get, you guys. This... we're coming close to the end. And... hey, there's another hole here. What is going on? What the hell? I... we're tiny, and everything is huge. I... What is this? I don't even. What? What the fuck? I. Okay. Um. Well. Uh. We're uh. We're gonna explore this place. This very strange place. Next time. 
so <laughs> I'm actually going to go back to the Lumine Hall cave and look for the broken antenna. So, if you like this, feel free to subscribe. This has been Baka Usagi, and I'll see you next time.